Hello, welcome back. So I'll be showing you how you can make this dynamic water surface in Cinema 4D, a 3D modeling program, so that when you, you know, collide an object with the water surface, as you can see in this render, it will create this, you know, water kind of texture, water ripples. Let's start making one. Let's start by making a plane that will act as the water surface. So uh, hold the left click button, head over to plane, and then set the width segments to 300 and the height segments to 300 as well. Just like so. And then we're going to make a cloth out of this plane so that it will act as the water surface that will actually look jiggly when collided with a collider which is going to be the sphere so uh, right click and then head over to simulation text and then head over to cloth and then uh, go to surface set the bendiness to 0 and then the mass to uh, 0 0.01 once you're, uh, once you're done uh, go to mix animation tick the box for with force just like so and then go to mode project and then go to simulation scene and then set the gravity to zero centimeters that's all and then let's let's add a gravity object to do this hit shift c search for gravity and then double click on it and then uh, go to fields linear field and then set the length to 10 centimeters and then uh Rotate it 90 degrees, just like so. And then uh, all you have to do now is to place it just on, right on the surface, just like so. And then, um, uh, uh, yeah, just like this, just on the, you know, the surface, just like so. And then um, copy and paste this gravity object and then rotate it um, minus 90 degrees, just like this. And then place it underneath the cloth just like so and then we're going to add the collider which is going to be the sphere hold the left click button head over to sphere and then um, go to object decrease the radius just like this hmm this is enough and then uh, increase the segments place it right on the um the yeah the water surface just like so and then we're going to add the collider tag right click simulation tags and then head over to collider just like so and then we're going to add a turbulence force simulate forces and then turbulence so that the water ripples look you know disorganized <laughs> just like so <laughs> well I changed the strength to uh, 0 0.01 the scale to 10% and then the mode to uh, aerodynamics wind just like this and then uh, we're going to add the material so uh, click on the material manager and then click on plus a new material will appear and then double click on it and then untick the box for color and then for reflectance change the type to reflection and then the roughness to 0% and the reflection strength to 100% and then drag it into the plane and the sphere and then let's add some sky hold it go to physical sky and then uh, tick the box for clouds let's animate the sphere first so uh, go to sphere and then um, let's say if we start from here hold on if we start from here and then um, go to coordinates on you know the diamonds to make keyframes then let's say we're going to do a quick swoosh so uh, drag your time indicator to 30 frames and then uh, simply go back to coordinates and then position the ball let's say to the other side just like so and then click on the diamonds to make new keyframes and then if we play the animation it will look like this fancy water ripples are now visible as the ball is moving that's how you can create this dynamic water surface in cinema 4d thank you for watching guys looks mesmerizing doesn't it do drop a like if you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe for me it's good day ciao